What's up guys on YouTube today? How are you guys today? Well, I want to talk to you guys today about uh, error meshes from iTunes itself from Apple. By the way, I am using the HP Premium G6 uh, Windows 7 uh, 64 operating system. By the way, I'm having some issues with iTunes. Well, because I did a a system update on iTunes, like, you know, software update for iTunes, like I normally do. But the problem is, this version apparently is corrupted from Apple, but I hope Apple comes out and fixes it. But, I don't know. But I can actually go back to Apple's website and go ahead and re-download uh, iTunes, but I really do not want to do that because then I'm going to lose everything on uh, my iPod Touch like this girl here, all my music and stuff, because I have the iTunes dedicated to uh, my iPod Touch, and I don't want to lose all my i all my music from my iPod Touch if I re-download uh, the new version of iTunes. But this is what happens when I click on my iTunes icon on my computer. Now, this apparently <coughs> is affecting everybody's uh, Windows computers, and it probably you know, is affecting Macs as well. But I don't know, I hope Apple does come a, uh, come with a bug fix with iTunes. But, hey, this is what happens, and you learn, and you try to upgrade and stuff. But I would, I would recommend you guys do not upgrade your iTunes on your Mac or your PC as well, because this apparently is a some type of bug issue with Apple itself. Well, let's go ahead and try to click and launch the uh, application. You can see there's a DRI file missing from iTunes. I don't know what that even means, but apparently it's something that's going on with iTunes itself. This version of update did not work for this computer, but in the past, the older versions did work. You can see iTunes did not correctly install on this Windows uh, computer. It's telling me I have a Windows 7 error meshes, uh, 160 errors on this computer with iTunes. I just don't understand it, guys. But I uh, even go directly to the uh, update, like you know, like you normally do here, click on Apple's updates and stuff like that. But it's going to go through all the uh, checking to see what's going on. I don't know, it's a system, it's a system bug and it's a system update, it's a uh, file update or it could be a software update. Okay, here you have iTunes 11.14. Do not upgrade to this newer version because it will not work. Uh, keep your current version to 11.13. But when I did the upgrade, it just doesn't like. I can hit the install, and it will just automatically install by hitting the yes for the Apple's stuff to work. But I just don't know, yo, guys. I mean, it will go through the updates and stuff like that, and it will try to update itself to the new firmware. Now, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if you guys have the same problem. But if you guys do, please do not upgrade to the latest new uh, iTunes uh, at all. Just stay with the older version. And well, I hope when Apple does come out with a, a fix. I hope. But I don't know. But I'm just going to let this one and, and it's going to show you what's going to happen here, guys. It's just going to... It's going to do what Noi does. It or Noi does will go through the updates and it's going to try to install the update. Well, what's going to happen, it's not going to update at all. And that's really a bummer because I do like Apple's products and I do like iTunes. I use iTunes all the time to install most of all my media, like all my uh, music and stuff like that. But now, I can't because iTunes is now not working on my computer. I'm not really happy with that because I'm very sad because I do not want to lose all my music off of my iPod Touch here. And because this iPod Touch is a dedicated to one library only, I don't want to be able to re-erase everything and start by scratch. 
Yeah, but hey, you know, if I go ahead and try to download that new version of uh, iTunes, it's still not going to work. It doesn't matter on what the processor is on your computer. It doesn't matter what the uh, memory or the type of hard drive space you have. You can see there's that error message again. You can see it has failed to update to the latest DOS uh, firmware. Just letting you guys know. This is a problem with Apple's server and Apple's updates. Well, I'm very disappointed. It's like, really, Apple? It's like, you guys have been very good to uh, Windows here. What the, you know, what's what's the deal going on here, guys? I mean, it's like, really, what's going on? It's like, I just don't understand why. Uh, here we go again, like, <clears throat> Mac and uh, PC kind of stuff. Well, this, it's just a, probably a bug on the software. It's just not going to uh, install it. And I can hear it again, but it's not going to do it. It's not going to install this uh, new firmware. It means I'm just kind of stuck without listening to my music on my computer. I do love iTunes. But you can see, I get that same message again, guys. Doesn't matter if I go directly to the website. I can go there. Let me go to the directly, directly to the website and show you guys what I'm talking about. I'm going to go ahead and click on Safari. Go directly to Apple's website here. By going directly to Apple's website, I can actually show you what's going on here. And I'm sorry that uh, uh, apparently it's taking a while to load here. You know, it doesn't take that long to load on the computer, but apparently it does. But hey, that's just Apple for you guys. This is just, uh, you know, that's the typical issue with Apple here. With any type of Windows computer, <coughs> you know, so any type of Mac. Let's go ahead and hit the download button. I'm not going to install the library at all. Because I'm just going to wait when Apple fixes a bug. This does work. iTunes download will work with uh, Windows XP, Windows uh, Vista, Windows 7, and also Windows 8 as well to download the new firmware or the new uh, iTunes library stuff, but all you have to do is you put your email address right here and go ahead and hit the download button. But I am not going to do that because I already have iTunes already installed in my computer. And I'll just go ahead and go to the link control panel and show you I already have iTunes already installed in my computer. Because it's a update, apparently, it's just not, it doesn't work with uh, Windows computers, apparently. But Apple will eventually, uh, eventually fix it. I do You can see the older firmware I have is the 11.1.3.8. Uh, That's the older firmware I have. In my computer, I'm not going to try to install iTunes again. And every time I click on it, it comes up with the same error messages. But I don't know how you fix it, guys. But well, I'm just letting you guys know if you do have a Windows or a Mac, be careful because it's a software bug inside of iTunes itself. But it could be any multiple, um, multiple. Uh, issues it could be with your iCloud, Safari, or multiple iTunes accounts, and also multiple libraries as well. That's the reason why this firmware apparently did not update on my computer. But this is just a simple of a issue with all the different issues with having software in your computer. Now, <clears throat> I mean, I can try it again, try to update it, but not gonna work, guys. It's not gonna work. Means I'm just going to have to wait when Apple decides to uh, fix the bugs or something like this. I just don't understand here, guys. I mean, I can go through all of the issues with trying to reinstall iTunes. And I really do not want to lose my library on my laptop computer because I do love iTunes, I do love Apple. I do what I do love what Apple does with the certain projects they do make, and I have a iPod Touch fifth generation, and that's my iPod. Alright, guys, if you are brand new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button and also please like, 
please share. Peace out. Bye, guys. We'll see you in the next vlog.